Hi there, let's have a quick look through a example workflow using the Sienna NDI processing engine. Um, this can be done on-prem or in the cloud, as you wish. Um, today we're going to be demonstrating a multi-branded output of a live stream, um, and we're going to be doing it all in Amazon Web Services. So this is a uh, instance which is running in Amazon Web Services in North Virginia, and we're controlling it from London. Uh, this is a web page of the uh, AWS instance um, and this is the NDI processing engine and you can see all of the different modules down the side which are the different parts of the system we can use to build our workflow. Um, we're going to actually start with a live stream coming from outside of AWS which is this one right here. We're actually sending it here from London so if I bring up uh, another computer this is actually a computer in London and we're playing back a video feed here locally and we're pushing it up into AWS using the uh, NDI processing engine uh, NDI to SRT. So this is uh, pushing an SRT format MPEG transport stream into AWS which is in North Virginia. So that's London to North Virginia. It arrives here in North Virginia. We can check if we've got a, a picture. Yep there it is. So it's being received in North Virginia and it's now back into the NDI domain so we can start processing it. Um, and in this example, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put a bit of music over the top using an audio embedder, just, for, just to demonstrate that works. And then what, we've, what we're going to do is we're going to be branding it. Um, so we're going to start with this image, which is full screen. And we're going to use this do, uh, 2D DB module to do a quick pushback. So if we look at the output of that, you're going to see we've squeezed that into the top left corner. And that's going to leave some room for graphics around the outside. And here we're going to use the uh, singular live cloud-based uh, CG system and we're rendering it in the CG engine inside the NDI processing engine. And if we look at the output of the CG, so this is basically a classic kind of sports scoring system being generated live with HTML5 graphics by singular. And we're going to superimpose that using our downstream key on top of the pushback video. And our base signal that we've created is our here pushback video which is coming from London, live streaming, push back, and then graphics over the top. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to brand it in multiple different ways. So we've got one frame here that generates the base uh, stream, and then we've got multiple different uh, pages here that are all doing different branding for different uh, potential customers. So we'll start with just one of them, for example. Here what we've got is we've got another graphic coming from a signal generator, or it can be another um, HTML5 graphic. And we're going to use the downstream key to basically put that one over the top of our base signal. It's going to go right there in that corner. Um, so we superimpose that. And if we look at the output of that, we're going to get our first branded output. And there we have it. There's our first branded output. We basically do the same thing as many times as we want. And whilst we're on the, uh, on the lookout for things, we can have a page which is a multi-viewer. Here we can have a quick look at all four of our branded outputs. So these are all being done in real time in AWS. Um, we're creating four separate uh, different video streams that are going to go to different directions. And if we have a look at what we can do with them, so our final deliverables, here we've got several different things. We've got a basic NDI stream in the cloud, which we can do stuff with. What we've also got is we're going to be streaming it uh, here using SRT again. Um, and this one is uh, actually streaming it back to London. So from North Virginia, we're going to stream it using SRT back, back to London. And I think we've got a uh, we've got a stream right here. So this is the return feed. So that we're monitoring this in London, streaming it back from North Virginia. One of the finished outputs streamed back to London with SRT. That's working perfectly. This is all 720p50. And what we're also doing is we've got a YouTube Live um, stream on the go as well. So if we have a quick look at YouTube Live, we can see that we should have. There we have. We've also got a live stream now going to YouTube Live from this same uh, infrastructure. And uh, whilst we're doing all of this, um, we've also got NDI Cloud in the mix, which means that we've got monitoring of every single component of this um, using the NDI Cloud infrastructure that lets us, essentially all of these endpoints are NDI sources within AWS, and we can access them all using NDI Cloud to basically get to any point. So if I want to look at any individual stream, for example, I can just choose that stream, which is going to be this point right here is what we're going to be looking at. And here, here is a little web pop-up that's being streamed uh, directly from uh, Amazon using streaming JPEGs. This is actually an NDI stream now that's been localized. So this is in the local 
uh, domain back in London. This is a full resolution, full quality. If you look at the stream information, it's 720p uh, 50. And we can obviously do our QA monitoring and so on here as well if you want to. And we can get to anywhere else. So, for example, I'm connected to a whole load of other different systems. For example, there's some, some systems in Azure and various other places. So let's just summarize what we've looked at. This is live video production. It can be done in the cloud or on-prem. It's mostly being done by the NDI processing engine. And we're going to start here with a streaming video input that we're receiving by SRT. That's our football stream that's coming from the football ground. We'll get, we've embedded some audio over it just to give it something to do. Uh, we've done a pushback with the 2D DVE. We've now got live rendering of live scores and other graphics that are being controlled elsewhere within the singular um, dot live system. Uh, we're then doing a downstream key over the top to create our base graphic and our base video. Then we're going to brand it four times with different customers. Uh, we've got a multi-viewer where we can review what's going on in all of our different streams. And then within each individual stream, we've got multiple different ways of delivering it. So in this case, we're doing an SRT uh, transport stream delivered to wherever you want to deliver it to. In this case, um, we're delivering it straight back to ourselves as SRT. Um, and we're also outputting it to YouTube Live or any other kind of CDN that might use a um, RTMP type uplink. So there we go. There's our YouTube Live. If you've got any other questions, uh, please head over to Sienna.tv. And thanks for watching.